This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. Most of the time, dispatch, it's going to be a conversation. If there's any other options, we'll work with you. You know, uh, if there's a real good reason why you don't want to take this particular load or go here, we're going to do everything that we can to work with you. Force dispatch would be like. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at great transportation out of Waterloo, Iowa. This call comes by way of a suggestion by Sharon. Shout out to Sharon for suggesting this call to great transportation. She would like to know about their pay and pay structure. Also, she would like to know if they pay for all miles driven. Well, Sharon, here it is, the call to Gray Transportation. If you guys like to know more about Gray Transportation, stay tuned. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? Sure. So here's our, our policy on the SAP program. At the moment, we are not able to facilitate the randoms and the follow-ons uh, for people that are currently in the SAP program. But if they have completed, fully completed that SAP program and their clearinghouse reflects that, at that point, yes, we are able to work with previous SAP drivers. Okay, cool. Awesome. How much experience are you guys looking for? We require two years OTR experience. All right. Pre-employment drug screening, hair follicle, urine, or both? Uh, urine. We just do the, the five panel DOT required urinalysis. All right. The lanes that you guys run, all lanes, do you guys run Canada? So we, we do run the entire lower 48 here mostly, um, except with the exceptions of we do not go to California, we don't go to Florida, and we don't do anything north or east of Pennsylvania. So no New York, no D.C., anything like that. Uh, other than that, we do run the lower 48. Our primary lanes take us uh, on our John Deere contracts, take us between the, the main manufacturing hubs here in the Midwest, and we will go down to like the southeast, Georgia, the Carolinas, Tennessee, here in the Midwest. We'll take those down to like Emporia, Kansas, prior Oklahoma, Coffeyville, Kansas. And then we have stop-offs that they're implements throughout. Uh, but those are some of the main lanes. Awesome. We also work for uh, Menards. That takes us all over the Midwest here, where all the Menards stores are. And then we do have one contract going west, a straight shot between Old Wine, Iowa, all the way out to Salt Lake City, Utah for DECA batteries. So those are our three main contracts. And then we will broker loads to get you back around where we need you to be and to get you your home time. But uh, I should mention, we're all 53-foot drive-in, all no-touch freight. So whichever awesome. of those contracts they end up being on or brokering, it's always going to be no-touch freight, always going to be in the 53-foot drive-in. All right. Mileage pay, is it pay per mile or percentage? Correct. This, this is a W-2 company driver position that we're, we're all company drivers here. Okay. Um, so this position being W-2, uh, we do offer health, dental, and vision insurance. Um, on top of that, we're doing a $2,000 sign-on bonus at the moment. We also do a paid orientation for a three-day orientation. We'll bring them up here to uh, Waterloo, Iowa. We'll cover the transportation, the hotel room, everything like that. And there is $200 orientation pay for our three-day orientation up here. Okay. After that, we hit the road. Yeah. What's, what's the pay per mile? Sure. So after that orientation pay and the sign-on bonus and everything like that, we hit the road. Uh, we get a weekly direct deposit paycheck. We get paid every single Wednesday at our base rate of $0.57 cents per mile. And then we also have the monthly mileage bonus check at the end of the month. Uh, so they'll get their weekly paycheck at that base rate of $0.57 cents per mile. And then they'll get a bonus check at the end of the month. If you hit 10,000 miles during that month, bonus check will take you up to $0.58. Cents. 11,000 miles takes you up to 59 cents. And if you clear 12,000 miles in that month, they're going to cut you a bonus check that takes the whole month up to 60 cents per mile. Okay, awesome. Now that base pay, 57 cents, is that based on regardless of experience or is there more with more experience? Correct. That is, uh, we have one rate here. All the drivers make the same. So they have adjusted that rate based on, you know, the market rate and stuff like that. They've raised it a couple of times within the last couple of years. So we stay competitive with the market, but currently all our drivers have one rate. Gotcha. Gotcha. How are the miles calculated? Is it zip to zip practical miles? Uh, yeah, it, it's practical miles. Uh, we do. I think it's, it's like a four digit, four or five digit zip code. So Okay. So are all the miles paid? Correct. Loaded and unloaded. The dispatch, right? How I would get my dispatch. Will I get it via phone or via tablet in the truck? Yeah. So mostly with the dispatch, it's going to be by phone. 
We do have the tablets in the truck. We use Omnitrax here. Uh, so we will use that Qualcomm Omnitrax to send messages, uh, you know, as need be. But usually we use that for like safety messages, general messages that are going out to everybody. Um, most of the time you're dispatch, you're going to call in and talk to your dispatcher. Okay. Now, with that said, do I get do I get any type of uh, cell phone conversation? Uh, no, at the moment we don't have any any cell phone compensation. Is the dispatch forced? You know, most of the time dispatch it, it's going to be a conversation. If there's any other options, we'll work with you. You know, uh, if there's a real good reason why you don't want to take this particular load or go here, we're going to do everything that we can to work with you. Forced dispatch would be like, you know, an absolute last option. You're the only person in that area of the country, and we got a load paying five dollars a mile that we need to be delivered. You know. Um, we're going to strongly suggest that you take it, but that that is a uh, you know really a last option. We like to be personable, reasonable, work with you on it. Gotcha. What kind of equipment that I'm that I'll be driving, and what are the trucks covering that? Sure. So our entire fleet here is a combination of Volvos and Freightliners. We lease our entire fleet company lease through Ryder. Uh, so everything that we have is 2019 and newer. Like I said, they're a combination of Volvos and Freightliners. On top of that, the other benefit of our uh, Rider partnership here is Rider handles our maintenance since they are Rider company lease trucks. Uh, so if anything were to happen to you on the road, if you go down, which, what we're going to do is get you to one of those 800 Rider repair shops throughout the U.S. They're going to get you fixed up. Part of our contract is even that they are required to provide you a loaner if you are down for any length of time. So that you can still be out there turning miles while they're uh, while they're fixing you up until you can swing back through and get back in your original truck. So that that has worked out really well for us so far with Ryder there. So that's our fleet. They are all automatics with APUs, inverters, and refrigerators built in and ready to go. Uh, they have the spot for the microwave and the TV hookups for it. If you want to add that yourself, make yourself that much more comfortable. And then what was your other question? The average mile of the week. What what are they governing? What are the trucks governing that? Yeah, governing absolutely. They are governed at 68, and that should be on the pedal and the cruise. Okay, awesome. Do they have cameras in the trucks? We do utilize cameras. Uh, you know, like most businesses nowadays, it's a safety thing. So we have that forward-facing camera that's going to record most of the time, just recording the lanes and everything like that. The driver-facing camera. How that works is it goes to their external software. We only ever see inside the truck if there is an incident, like a hard braking or a swerve or a collision, something like that. Uh, they send us, it's like 12 seconds of footage around the incident. Uh, so that gets sent to us, and then we call the driver in to review it with them. We don't have the act, the ability or the desire to go in there and look at our drivers while they're driving. Uh, we're going to respect your guys' privacy. So that's not even something that's available to us through this software. We just get sent that footage in the event of that the truck triggers an incident. You already mentioned the benefits, but when do they start? So it's 60 days from the end of your first month. So if you were to start like with us today, it would be 60 days from February 1st. Gotcha. Pet and rider policy and how young can I bring my rider? Uh, the riders, uh, we do allow riders and we do allow pets here. Uh, pets, we restrict it to small breed dogs. We would ask they be under like, you know, 45 pounds. And the pet policy is there is a $300 deposit, uh, but we can work with you on that. We can do it like 50 out of each check as you go. We would just ask that you bring their vaccination records and everything like that to orientation with you so we can put those on file and then your your dog is ready to go. Rider, uh, we would ask that you give us the first th at least 30 days here to establish a good safety record and stuff like that. Then absolutely we can sign a, a waiver, to let you have a rider with you. We would ask that rider be at least, you know, 13, 14 years old, if it's, if it's a minor, be a family member um, and have them be at least, you know, 13 years old. Awesome. I guess my last question, and thank you very much for your time. My last question is home time. So I'm up in I'm up in the Northeast. I'm out of Ohio. I'm, I'm going to assume some of the lanes will definitely run through my state. So would I be able to get home every week or what will, what will be my home time? Where at in Ohio are you? Cleveland. Cleveland? Yeah. In Cleveland, uh, that is, that's kind of as far east as I would go. But in Cleveland, I could offer you a regional position that would have you out Monday through Friday and get you home on the weekends. Awesome. Every weekend. Uh, would it be for my full two days or would it just be for the 34th reset? Yeah. Generally, you get home on a Friday and most of our drivers either leave out like Sunday night or Monday morning. Awesome. I think it's going to kind of it's going to kind of depend on the route, you know, um, when you picked up exactly what you get in. We like to get you a full weekend. Awesome. As much as possible. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, sir, for your time. I really do appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for the call. Not a problem. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Gray transportation, everybody.
out of Waterloo, Iowa. They will get you up there to do a three-day orientation. During that orientation, you will get paid $200 for that orientation, as well as a sign-on bonus that you will probably have to ask, how is it paid out? Well, guys, what do you think of the call? What do you think of the information that Gray Transportation have provided for us? Unfortunately, SAP drivers, they're not able to help with you in your STEPS program. But if you have completed the program, then you will have an opportunity to come in and drive for Gray Transportation. Yes, they do have a rider policy. Yes, they do have a policy that they will be able to work with you. 57 cent base start for everybody across the board and you can work your way with incentives up to okay make sure you ask them what the up to part they don't have a cell phone conversation because of reasons but all your dispatch information will probably become through text via cell phone drivers what do you think gray transportation a good company for you if so give them the call the information will be in the description below drivers if you driven or drove for gray transportation let us know of your experience if you'd like to come on and share your experience you can do that by the gmail that is lockout men podcast guest at gmail.com come and share your experience with us with gray transportation is it a good company is it a bad company let us know Drivers, also get your suggestions in now for the Nets MTC 24. Yes, a new year, new round of calls. You can get your suggestions in by the Gmail, lockout me and podcast guest at gmail.com, or leave it in the comment session. Or if you like to support the calls, which many of you good people do, you can. Hit us up in the cash app. That's dollar sign. Lockout men. Let us know who you would like for us to review. And we will give you a shout out for that call. Until next time, everybody. Who's next?